this is Hazel and Hazel's wearing a chicken saddle. It's not a fashion item, it's actually a welfare item and today I'm going to tell you all about it, why we use it and how to fit it. Welcome to English Country Life, my name's Fiona and this is Hazel who's modelling the chicken saddles for us today. Why do we need these? Well we breed Buff Orpington so we keep cockerels with the hens and cockerels to fertilise the eggs actually climb on the back of the hen and that's called treading. If they do that quite a lot they can start to wear the feathers away. With the avian influenza restrictions we have in the UK at the moment, our chickens are being kept in fully netted enclosures in line with their legal obligation. But that means that they're kept in a more restricted space than they would in the free range field. So the cockerel has more access to the hens. We are fitting these as a welfare item so that the chickens don't end up with bald spots in summer. Let me show you what feather wear looks like first. This area here is exactly why Hazel needs the saddle. Her down feathers have been exposed because these golden feathers on top have been worn away. And that's because the cockerel is trying to mate with her. So he is climbing on top to mate and he's actually wearing them away because Hazel is one of his favourites. The saddle covers this area and means she won't end up with a bald patch. We're in January in the UK at the moment and Hazel will regrow feathers when she molts in autumn time but that's nine to ten months away and what I don't want to happen is for us to go into the summer months and she has her skin exposed because if the cockerel continues to tread without any protection she could end up with all of the down being removed as well and skin being exposed. That means we go into a warm summer with beating sunshine and she could end up with sunburn. This is a closer look at the saddle. It's a basic D shape of canvas fabric with a tape across the top and it provides two loops and this is where the wings of the chicken fit. So it sits like that and this section is between the shoulder blades. This is a close up of how it looks once it's fitted on Hazel. This saddle is designed to protect the hen's back from the cockerel's feet when he treads them. That's what it's called when a cockerel climbs on the back of the hen and mates with them, as you can see Ramesses is doing here. There are multiple different sizes of chicken saddle that you can get and the difference in size is actually very subtle, I think, as you can see here. This is a small, a medium and a large size and there is a minuscule difference in the length of each, but the length is so important. What you want it to do is to cover the space where the cockerel will actually stand on the hen's back, but you want it short enough that the hen can still access the oil gland and I'll show you what that looks like when I fitted the saddle to Hazel. The oil gland excretes a small amount of oil which the chickens use to waterproof and showerproof their feathers so it's a really really important part of their anatomy. There are different formats of saddle you can buy too. This is a basic format but you can get those which have extra covers for the tops of the wings and they're called butterfly saddles. Now you would need those if your cockle stands very high on the hen's back. Our cockles don't so their feet never touch the top of the wings. The other thing is that we choose a version which has a lovely fleece lining on the inside and I think that provides extra padding so it's more comfortable for the hens but you don't necessarily need to have that. If you just have the basic canvas it still does the job but for us I just think it's a little bit more comfortable. Let me show how you how we fit those saddles and we'll use Hazel as our model. The saddle is very easy to fit. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this wing and I'm going to feed it through this loop. So it's over the top of her shoulder. Then I'm going to pass the saddle so it sits between her two wings. Make sure that I can grab the tape, 
pull it through make sure that all her feathers are flat so it's comfortable for her then I'm going to turn her around which she's not going to like very much but it's necessary and then I'm going to pop the saddle underneath the wing pull the tab take it over the top of her shoulder and then there's a popper closure between the saddle and the tape pop it into place give it a bit of a move around so it's comfortable and you can see that that is the saddle fully fitted the fitting of the saddle is really important as you can see here it is covering that area of down which has started to be exposed but she can still access her oil gland which sits roughly about here but let me show you a photograph so you can see what that looks like and what you're actually looking for this is it. It's not very exciting to look at. It's just a raised area of skin similar to a large pimple. If you don't know about the oil gland, it can be quite alarming when you first find it. I talked to someone a while back who told me when they first found it, they thought the chicken had a tumour, but it turned out just to be this, the oil gland. Thankfully, they can laugh about it now. Well, that's all about chicken saddles. I hope you found that useful. And I think we can all agree Hazel's been a fantastic model today. So she's getting a little bit of a treat to say thank you. If you have liked this content, take a moment and give me a thumbs up below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the notifications icon and you'll get to know of any new video as soon as it goes live. If you've got any questions for me or if there's a video subject you'd like us to make in the future, leave it in the comment section and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible or even film that video for you. But for now, thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time. Ha 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 ha!